I need to talk. We need to pause the awards, please. We're talking luxury. We're talking old money. We're talking old money. <laughs> Get that crust, girl. Get it, girl. You want to smell like crust, girl? So this brings us to the final award of the night for beauty brand of the year. Johnny's cute, but Kevin's gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah. I asked Selena herself. Yeah. At the event, I swear Oh my God. God, did you really? Get my wife's name out your mouth. <laughs> Live from the Dolby Theater, it's the beautiful and bothered awards presented by Mary Dugan. Now your hosts, Johnny Ross and Kevin Condom. <laughs> I feel like we need champagne. We should. I know, girl. What a missed opportunity. We'll do it for the next one, because that's the last one of the year. Okay, fair, fair, And it's still early-ish. Not that we normally don't drink before 2 p.m. And we thought we would serve you a little extra. Lurks. Charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Lurk. Put on the lipstick, girl. Put it on, girl. Put the cosmeceuticals (laughs) on. Cosmeceuticals. Put them on, girl. When you do that voice, oh my, whenever you get me on a, like, on a girl roll. <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Put the lipstick on, girl. You, better, you look like a pretty girl. Yeah. You better tell no, me. No, I like the lipstick on your <sighs> teeth, girl. You better tell me if I have lipstick on my teeth. Uh, me with this glossy red lip. I know. What is that? Horrible. Yeah, that's a I like the formula. Beautiful but looking and feeling, but horrible uh, risk factor. Risk when you're talking a lot. This is the Kylie uh, oh. with the Mario lip liner. I, d- I bought the Kylie. It was Mary Jo K. Okay. What does that mean? Mary Jo is like, everything ends with a K. Okay. But like Mary Jo, I think, is her grandma. So she just added a K at the end. Everything is like was like Dolce K, Mary Jo K, oh. Candy K. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God, kill me. I know. What so, a gimmick. But <laughs> what a great way to start the awards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Ellen couldn't do it this year because, you know, so they asked us to fill in at the last they second. Asked the wish.com Ellen. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Ellen would never dress this feminine. Ellen would never look this good. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so this is part one of the beautiful and bothered awards. We're doing all things so makeup. Good. Yeah. In this episode, and honestly, I feel like we have a lot to cover. So we should do our little pre-before things. So I did get, uh, I just got back from the Rare Beauty brand trip, which we are going to talk about in detail, probably maybe in season two, the beginning of season two. But I want to tell you guys about the new launch because, A, we just did last week all the last minute launches. And I'm almost positive this is coming out or going live December 16th. 18th. 18th. Uh, exclusively on Sephora.com. Okay. Not in store until December 26th. Okay. So the reason yeah. I want to include this, this will be out the 17th, y'all. So it's oh, so out the right next now. Day. Oh, you're, yes. Perfect. Okay. So this is hitting YouTube the 17th. So you guys have, this is why it's good to follow the YouTube channel. You get a little bit of it uh, the day Elite. before. Yeah. Streaming on the 18th. So the reason I wanted to include this in this episode is because girl, the shit is going to sell out in five seconds. And let me tell you. It's worth it. And let me tell you why. <laughs> it's homophobic. And let me tell you why. Yeah. First of all, this packaging. Girl. So this is obviously. Aesthetic. Yes. This is the PR box. We have the Fine Comfort uh, collection, if you will. This is her body care. And this is the Rare Beauty body care collection. I just had to show you the PR box. Beautiful. In that silk. Wow. And, oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's so heavy. We obviously got, got to hear Selena talk about the products. I loved, instead of using the words like self-care, because I don't know, A, it's overused and it's kind of diluted, which this also sounds very hokey, but she was like talking about basically like finding comfort. And the more, when she said that, I was like, okay, like cool, you know, marketing one-on-one. But then like as the trip went on and I really under, started to understand like using the products and smelling the products and seeing the design, the whole nine yards, <laughs> maybe maybe it was a cult trip but like I started to like I was like I understand what you're saying because the products are almost more designed to be like as though you're going to a spa like it feels that way it feels like you're just kind of the serenity of it all rather than like do a mask for self-care kind yeah. of a thing so the first thing is the fine comfort body and hair fragrance and this you can literally spray all over the body and hair and she was saying she's like we wanted it to be super a uh, pleasant experience so the mister 
girl like they wanted it to be very you can't even hear it that's spring. what i mean very aromatic and just very smell this girl these products literally feel like you were at a spa you could not afford in your dreams so i'm telling you like to have that on the hair and body like the simplicity of that it is and tell me not only the scent of everything being so warm. Oh and my cozy. god. Yes, but it but not cozy like fireplace cozy. No sweet. girl. This is I'm talking You're luxury, at a spa. expensive hotel this getaway that I don't know where this is, but I want to be here. Tell me about it. I would want to smell all of this while I was like meditating, while I was like that level of which is why I understood the like fine comfort aspect if you will. Then we have a candle. Are they selling the candle? I believe so. Yes. If you're going to get anything, this would be my I the least on the 5 list. out of 5, if you will, only because 5 I, out of 5. There's five products. <gasps> oh, so I thought you were saying know, boom, five boom, boom. stars. I was like, "Wait, you sound like you're not loving it, but then you're giving it five stars." Honestly, yeah, no, I give everything five stars, but I'm going in order of like what you need. need. Like what Got you, it. what I would recommend the most. This yeah. would be the 5 out of 5 only because I do think this is beautiful, but it has the same scent as everything else, but it's not too overwhelming where it fills the room very sh strong. I'm surprised it doesn't have a stronger scent. That's what I mean. So I would rather have the body care stuff because that is so mm. potent and beautiful. It's, I mean, wow, that's oh, like a stunning. ceramic candle. Yes, too. so that's it's no on joke. the body a little bit better. And then we have the body cream, the hand cream. Wow. And then we have, there is an essential oil. This is the Fine Comfort Stop and Soothe Aromatherapy Pen. So the aromatherapy pen, this one, I'll do this last because this is the only different scent. Those two have the same scent because oh. this is actually like essential oily. Like if you're really, you know, the hand cream is in that bottle. And what I love about it right out of the gate, the packaging, like if you lose the cap in your purse, it twists. Twists. You right put it right on. And then what I really love is how this was designed. She brought out after they talked about, obviously, the cap and everything was designed with such intention. Like none of this packaging is like you can see, oh, that's also, you know, mm. the Tarte Maracuja lips. Everyone has the same pen now because yeah. the factory did it. You know, everything is custom. You talk about going the extra mile and how involved she is. She got a physical therapist who was also there. He was a physical therapist from France, I believe. And this bottle is specifically designed. So as you have the hand cream on and you're doing it, you can put it on heavy. This entire bottle is designed to give yourself a hand massage. Look at this. And hit all of the like pressure points. So when I tell Casey loves hand lotion, he's always asking me because his hands are so dry. He's always asking me, do you have any? I gave this to him last night and he's just sitting on the couch like just doing this. Like literally put that on and use it like that. How fucking genius is that? Hold on, wait just one second, please. You can literally rub it in, yeah, right with the bottle. You don't have, like, yes, if you want. You can work it in a little bit, yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, mama. Girl. I'm getting, like, three of these. And can we talk the about 18th? the- On the Yeah. Can we talk Done. about the fragrance, too? It's just- Okay, so what I really appreciate in the, the hair and body mist is a little bit more potent. The hand cream is softer. Is softer. But it still is the same gorgeous scent. Yes. Okay. Oh, and this, I could do this all day. All day. You know, because my hands get worked. Worked so just so hard. much. Lude, 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 lude. I'm not even kidding, though. No, like, I'll be sitting on the couch after a long day, and I'm not even like, I don't know what it is, but I always take my thumb and I like run it through yes. my palms because there is something, there is something up. And what I didn't know, Selena Gomez has. The packaging of Rare Beauty, everything has that shape because she has, um, what is that condition? I know what you're talking about. I'm forgetting what Someone brought this up on the trip and she I forget. Has, and she has, the blushes have like that round tip because it's easy for her to open. Yes, so. it's like basically with the with her having lupus, it's something yeah. with the difficulty of opening products. Yes. Like because sometimes she will get like it almost cramps up and cramps it, up and paralyzes the hands in a way so it's everything she, has that, that feel grip to it. to it so it's easy for her to open and yeah. like everything was thought in mind of like yeah. opening the packaging even something like this it's easy to open easy to yeah. close never losing a cap and it's not messy on the no. top i know oh my god this i know great and if you try oh. and you put on the hand cream before you haven't tried the body cream no girl this i want to buy by the boatload so Put a little of that girl on. So obviously this is a bigger. Yeah. So this is a little bit of obviously have a bigger bottle because it's the body cream. When I tell you 
I brought these home and Casey was obsessed with everything. But I went to bed last night and I literally put the body and I always put lotion on, especially with tattoos. And I put the body lotion all over, like probably from the waist up and then the essential oil on my chest. I've never had such a good night's sleep in my life. Girl, I felt like I was falling asleep at like a hotel, like at a fucking hotel I cannot afford. I'm like, going to scream. Can you believe this? Okay, so here's my thing too, is because oh, I need to describe this body cream because I'm the type of person I don't love body cream. Me neither. And nothing's greasy either, even the hand or this. No, and the body cream, especially like when I get out of the shower and when I need body cream, if I put something on and if I feel greasy, if I feel wet, if I feel sticky, I'm not putting, I can't get dressed right away. Mm -hmm. This and the scent stays. We're in bed last night, and like I said, I put this all over my arms and my body, and I'm laying in bed. We're watching Gilmore Girls. I finally got Casey on that train. And we're, I'm obviously laying like this, and Casey 50 times while we're watching Gilmore Girls just keeps leaning over and smelling my arm. And I'm like, do you want some? Like, Because he was just like, oh, he could not get over how good it smelled. He said. Yeah. 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 It just is, and that's the best way to describe it. It is like spa, hotel, such luxury, expensive, beautiful. I'm obsessed. That scent. It's not like even something in the like a perfume you could even pinpoint. It has that spa like scent, which is yeah. just brilliant to me because that's something, especially in lotions. I'm gonna wear perfume. I'm gonna wear cologne. I don't want it my lotion yeah. to smell like Laura Mercier vanilla. You know what I mean? I don't want that strength in it. <laughs> so for me, the number one things are the hand lotion and the body lotion. And honestly, if you get anything, if you just want to try one thing, I would recommend the body lotion because as you, you see, we hands. put it on our hands. It doesn't feel greasy like the hand lotion. So you're getting more for what it is, kind of dual purpose. Yeah. Then the hand lotion. Then, um, honestly, the hair mist or, the, or this, if you like essential oil things, that would be my third choice. So this is the aromatherapy pen, and you literally just push her up, and it comes out like that. Mm -hmm. And then this one has much more of that like essential oil, which Selena was really funny. She's like, I know this sounds super basic. She goes, but obviously flying on plane so much and the whole nine. She goes, I've been taking this, and I like rub this like on my chest when I'm on the plane, and it gives me that like calm down kind of a like take a chill relax thing okay i feel like there's definitely peppermint in there yes so that's very like which I, I personally love peppermint essential oils because it's great for migraines which i always get yeah. so uh the body hair and fragrance mist the hand lotion and the body lotion are all the same scents and it says featuring notes of sparkling lemon zest soft jasmine and soothing cashmere wood wow and then the uh aromatherapy pen is a weightless, fast-absorbing gel with soothing peppermint and lavender. And I gotta say, too, for an essential oil pen, you just said it was fast-absorbing. I put this oh. on the back of my hand. Not greasy. Girl, gone. I know. This is incredible. It's not like rubbing oil in. So when I went to bed, I did the body lotion everywhere, and then I did the aromatherapy pen like on my chest. Like I'm telling you, I had the best night's sleep in my life. I want to buy this whole collection on the 18th. <sighs> So and I have Selena. to, I don't know if the candle is for sale because I didn't see it on the Instagram. I mean, like I said, that would be my five out of five recommendation anyway. Yeah. I'm just telling you, man, I am const consistently so impressed with her of the involved, clearly the involvement, like she sitting down and talking about all of the motivations for every single thing she made, why she made it. She's the one who had the idea to do, to find a physical therapist to do this. Like, it's just, I don't even know. I don't even think of Rare Beauty as a celebrity brand anymore. They're just killing it to go into a body care line. And we kind of knew that before I went on the trip because you knew through, you know, the, yeah. the, the dark web. And um, we kind of both rolled our eyes. And when I just started to see this stuff, I'm like, motherfucker, like she just, yeah, it's different and it's innovative and it's unique. And it's just, I was blown away. And I'm assuming these products will be in store, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's even more exciting. So the, like December 26th, it's going to be in stores yes. everywhere. So yeah, the reason I wanted to include this so quickly to make sure we got it on this next episode is because this is literally coming out the day before streaming the day of. Of, and it should get to you before Christmas, right? If you order it the 18th. Uh, I don't know. It depends. It depends but, on if like what shipping speed you have. Mm -hmm. But honestly. But girl, and I know it's going to sell out in two seconds. And I just had to rave about it because I've been obsessed with it. So I'm upset. I can't wait to buy this. This is like. Isn't it wild? That's game changing. It's insane. And it's so silly because it's like, yes, I have body lotion. Yes, I have that. But like 
those are products I would be excited to use. Girl, it's on my bedside table, and that's what I mean. Yeah. I like those are the things I look forward to when I go to bed because I'm like, I can't wait to put that on and go to bed smelling that all night, opposed to my, you know, Lubriderm that's fragrance free, whatever. That I'm just like, okay, literally like, lubing it, lubing on, it and you're up, like, and then time for night night. Yeah, yeah, like this where is, this is an experience oh my God. as you're putting it on. It's like it's unreal. I mean, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna like have. Like, I want to fall asleep right now. I know. I know. Well, wake up, bitch. Yeah. We're, we're uh, going to take a quick break, and then we're diving into the beautiful and bothered Mary Dugan Awards. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> what? I was just going to be like, welcome back to the beautiful and bothered Awards. Yeah, were they announced the presenters? I want Kids' Choice Awards. I want to get slimed like Katy Perry. Get ready. Well, we have our live audience, but Elmo went missing. I know. And we don't know where he went. What does he sound like? Ha-ha. I don't know. Tickle me. No, I can't Ooh. do an Elmo. <laughs> I was going to say, he skinned me, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> that was good. But not bad. That was yeah. good. Mario, if you can, try to put in like live audience sounds, like laughter and uh, clapping as though it's a live award show. <laughs> and he just puts in booing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, feel free. Yeah. We're used to it. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite comments last week was uh, someone comments and they go, they're like, Johnny's cute, but Kevin's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they And it's didn't. not like you would make up on it. I didn't. Last I had week my was hair our tied own up. It was just our birth faces. Our birth faces, our birth skin. Johnny's and on cute. that, Johnny's cute, but Kevin's hotter. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Gorgeous devours cute. cute. Gorgeous devours cute. <laughs> Little ego boost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, oh the criteria, the criteria for our uh, best in beauty awards, I would kind of say, I mean, everything is like you know, foundation of the year, concealer of the year. We do have multiple winners for some of them based on skin type. type we in, took that into consideration. Yeah. I feel like a decent amount of it came out this year. Not everything is from this year because we're also not people that are just gonna like praise newness for the sake of newness. If nothing came out this year better than it, sorry, boo. Like we're, it's not winning. Yeah, it's not winning. Like we're yeah. not gonna just pick newness for the sake of it because it's not. That's misleading. Because we're not allure. Yeah, unless you're Black Honey and came out in 1978, then they'll still give you an award because it went viral mm -hmm. and i mm. gotta say we don't have a lot of viral products in here girl virality was not even in my mind i was picking what's in what my rotation <laughs> and i what is quite literally yeah. the best of the best absolutely yes for everybody because that's the thing it's like we have in mind and we know you guys watch this so much to get recommendations yeah it makes me sick to my stomach to think that I would ever recommend a product that I know I was not being truthful about and then someone would go out and spend their money on and get home and be like, what the hell? The poor kid in me could never let that happen. Like I would be, that's crazy. So I didn't give a shit about virality. You should have saw me even on this rare beauty trip, the amount of people coming up to me talking about like trends and oh, what's that audio this? I'm like, girl, I have no idea what you're talking. I don't know what's going on on TikTok. I don't know what the trending audio is. I don't know what we're doing. This shit, everyone's doing. Doing. I don't. I don't know that. I don't. Either. I don't know. I don't know her. Doing. Yeah. Well, and everything. Gag City. I was like, what is this Gag City nonsense? And it's Nikki's new album. And yeah. I. Okay. Also, listen to that album. The only song I like. Is, Insert the um, booing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is the Barbie is dangerous? Is the only rappy one I like. And then that mm -hmm. one where she sampled "Girls Just Want to Have Fun," which I hate. That song. That one slaps. Was amazing. It was amazing. But I. The whole album was a bunch of sampled. Cool. So I was like, and then, I mean, this isn't going to be like the roast of Pink Friday too. No, but, but yeah, if you're going to call it Pink Friday too, you better give me reminiscent vibes of Pink Friday, girl. Where's which moment for I life? Got, where's I'm well, the she best. had Drake on it, so I, I mean, there you go. But where's I'm the best? Where's yeah. uh, a Starships? Where's Pound the Alarm? Like that what wasn't are we? Pink Friday. Well, that was Roman's Revenge. It was kind of like the fame Roman monster. Reloaded. Roman Reloaded. That was the fame monster to the fame of Pink Friday. Right, right, it right. Yes. It basically was songs was that the, didn't make it onto yeah. Pink Friday. Which, again, yes, where is yeah. that level of like originality that game yeah. that she, you're going to be the queen of rap like give me that well girl her bit in my opinion and i know nikki stands obviously know the deep cuts but i'm talking like the radio stuff for the past 10 years has all been massive samples i know it's all been the you know my I'm anaconda so over, and my don't yeah. you like don't i'll Ew. take your anaconda 
Your anaconda showing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Should we dive in with our first category? This one says, I'm a c- <laughs> Yeah. I meant to give you the one that said you're fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one's pink. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. My pink slip. The Mary Dugan Award for Foundation of the Year goes to Dior Forever Matt. <laughs> Revlon Full Coverage Matte Foundation and the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Glowy Tinted Hydrator Foundation. I mean, in a nutshell, girl, we've talked about this so much. The Dior Forever Matte is not only the best foundation that I discovered this year, it's the best foundation I've ever used. Agreed. It is what is on my skin. It is the most blurring, long-wearing, uh, does it not accentuate texture even for mature skin. It blurs my pores. On my shiny nose, it lasts all day. It is the best foundation I have ever used in my life. And for me, the Revlon Full Coverage Matte Foundation is the drugstore version of the Dior. Mm. But I do think there's actually a little bit of a its own pro in the sense that the Revlon is more moussey. So if you like that whipped kind of a feel, I think that it is a little bit better for everybody, everybody dry skin included, where the Dior can get a little, it depends on, I mean, not that I, I feel like I could put that Dior forever matte on the person with the driest, flakiest skin. It would still look stunning. It just, they kind of do the same thing as far as long wear and crease resistance and all of that stuff, but they're just different textures. It's a liquid and a mousse. Yeah. And then uh, we have the Urban Decay. Oh, with Urban Decay, that is such a staple for me in my like bridal kit. When I was doing bridal makeup all the time, that was something I could put on everyone and anyone. If I was in a pinch and I could mix it with a matte foundation if something was too dry, this something was alone one of the most beautiful, glowy. They called it a tinted hydrator foundation. This was medium Girl, she coverage. Is a foundation. It is a full blown foundation with, yeah. and especially being a glowy, it wasn't ever wet looking on the skin. It just looked like satin, dewy skin, and I could set it with anything and it would look beautiful. Last all day, doesn't oh. crease, doesn't move, doesn't budge. This is something I just, I love so much. They just extended it with five different shades. So mm -hmm. run and see if they have your color. Yeah. Go get matched. It's stunning. So beautiful. Definitely so. Dry, a dry skin girly foundation. Oh, 100%. Do you remember the episode? I was like, I haven't worn this in forever. And my skin got so much drier since, I, so much more oily since I had first got it. And I put it on an episode. By the end of it, I was just. She was a little glow glow. Girl, I was so it was glowy. Gone. Nothing broke up, but no. I was just glowy. Like I yeah. dunked my face in water. Yeah. So yeah, I, uh, <laughs> that, that's our, we kind of made sure to hit every skin type. And also another caveat, unless we specify it. Everything we picked works on mature skin unless we specify. Um, yeah. Because, again, we always swear by if it works on mature skin, it works on everybody. It's, it's elite, the formula. Yeah, exactly. So, so next up, the winner for the best powder foundation of the year goes to... She Glam Skin Focus High Coverage Powder Foundation. Get up here, girly. Get your flowers. <laughs> We did not include the one size. That is also elite. But I, I personally, because that's was not out this year, the one size, I mean, I feel like that's better for yeah. oily skin. If like, or I should say that's like those, that's the glam girly foundation. Like you, mm -hmm. you got to be getting beat to do the, um, do one, the size, one size where yeah. to me, the she glam does exactly what the one size does. But mama, when I tell you in the, the bull, literally skill. Skilk, <laughs> silk. It looks like silk. What do you skin. call me? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't show or accentuate any texture, despite yeah. the age. Like I, when I even when I do full glam like this, I don't highlight my T zone with liquid concealer because I just can't. The less amount of liquid, the better. So I use powder, and this is where I buy a lighter shade of my one size and my she glam, and I highlight those areas with the powder foundation because it is just in my opinion even more than as far as the ability for everybody to use it this is the best powder foundation i've yeah. ever tried and comes in so many different shades the price point 7.99 maybe insane the price point the shades the level of skill it takes to put this on is minimal you could put this on with a powder puff a brush your toe whatever you want literally and yeah. you could put this over liquid foundation is how i love to use it you could put this on alone yeah. it is so beautiful so user-friendly. Yes. And again, the price point, you can't beat that. And the coverage, the texture, how it wears throughout the day. So buildable, too. 
This is the only powder foundation I I ever use alone, like as yes. my foundation. Agreed. And it doesn't Agreed. look foundation-y at all. But then you can get the lightest, most natural coverage with this or build it up to the fullest coverage powder foundation you've ever seen. One of the best powder foundations I've ever used. Absolutely. And the Mary Dugan Award for Concealer of the Year goes to <gasps> Natasha Denona High Glam uh, Concealer. Oh. Nepo Baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Nepo Baby? You know what that is. A Nepo Baby in Hollywood is like a, a kid of a famous person. Oh. Right? There was Never. A you never I thought you said that? nipple baby, huh. and I said, "Did that Natasha?" That tickled. That made more sense to you. Yeah, I was nipple like, "Baby." I yeah, was you like, didn't pat an eyelash at that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, did not know that. Yeah, no, girl, the Natasha Denona High wow. Glam Concealer. I have it on now. Have, have it, it on now. It's great. It. I mean, talk about again <laughs> shade range, girl. The categories, five different categories with coinciding color correctors in every one. Longest wearing creaseless concealer, girl. Literally blurred. makes my under eyes look like plastic. Like just like I'm putting new skin on top of my under eyes. Quite literally, no better concealer. I feel bad for these other brands coming out with concealer. because It's done. <laughs> nice try. You know, when someone comes out with something that you're like, well, okay, that's and a wrap. Th it is not getting the love it deserves. No. It is by far beat out House Labs for mm -hmm. me yes. by a mile. Yep. Because House Labs starts to get a little texture yeah, girl. pool under the eye. Mm -hmm. This stays consistently beautiful the entire time I wear it. Oh I can wear this all day, 12, 16-hour wear, and I'm like, Stunning. yeah, I'm fine. I know. Good to go. Any powder does not change the formula no. at all. Nope. It just is, yeah. It's it's the only thing, and I do, the only thing I do highlight my T-zone with, half the time I don't even go crazy putting foundations. Like, I do a light layer foundation on my nose, but I don't mm -hmm. build up the foundation because it doesn't really stick as well with an oily T-zone. And the Natasha, I do the brightening concealer, like my brightening shade right down the bridge of my nose. That's it. That it literally sticks like a dream. It's so beautiful. Even to tone out, takes the redness away. It's just, and then when I blend out like a cream contour, a powder contour, contouring my nose doesn't move the concealer underneath at all. It's just, it's unbelievable. And I feel like it's not getting the love because the, the marketing kind of stopped after the launch. Like they're not still driving it Pushing down your it. throat. Yeah. yeah. So, but this I'm telling you is the greatest thing. It really Honorable is. mention to the NYX serum concealer. That's like the lighter version, but this is a full coverage concealer. But like you said, just use less product. So quite literally, yeah. you can make this work no matter what look you're doing, no matter mm -hmm. what kind of coverage you're comfortable with. This is something you could wear and make work for any look or any preference. So great job, Natasha. You hit the nail on the head. So next up, the award winning setting powders of the year. First one goes to Anastasia. <gasps> The translucent loose powder. So this also comes in multiple shades. Mm -hmm. So there's five shades of this powder. We also have the MAC Studio Fix Pro Set and Blur Weightless Loose Powder. Say that three times fast. fast. <laughs> also comes in shades. Last but not least, the OG. The NYX HD Studio Loose Setting Powder. Girl. Same thing. Comes you in did shades. it again. Yeah. Does it really? Yes. Translucent white. And then it comes in three uh, tones. Oh. I didn't yeah. know they still made those. For us, the NYX HD Studio Loose Setting Powder is your mature and dry skin. Yes. Your people who don't want to accentuate texture looks like nothing. The MAC Studio Fix is, in my opinion, specific for oily skin that uh, has texture and pores where it's going to kind of blur those pores, but also it is very shine controlling, very, very shine controlling. And then your Anastasia is just your glam, makeup, glam uh, full beat powder. I put that on with that little real techniques puff. And yes. I say, boop, 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 boop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am. Yeah. Setting yeah. it. Flowering in. the chicken. Yeah. Such Amazing. good setting powders. Incredible. All right. Then we have the award for colorful eyeshadows of the year goes to the Danessa Merrick's Lightwork 5 palette and the Adept Cosmetics Minka eyeshadow palette. There's no mattes in either one of these no. because I feel like at this point there was no palette with colorful mattes that was particularly Groundbreaking. phenomenal. Groundbreaking this year. And I think, no. I mean, just get a ColourPop palette with bright colors and it'll be stunning. ColourPop, BH Cosmetics, totally. they all make the, yeah. the bright matte one yep. from BH Cosmetics is amazing. Yes. But what I love about, because These Danessa, Danessa and even Adept, mm -hmm. I feel like what I always wanted from Pat McGrath, and I said, your, your specialty shadows, I said, give me a palette of this and charge me $125. Yes. And 
Danessa and Adept hurt us because I said, I want that super high glam foil finish. Yes. Give me those special effects shadows. Yes. But give me a palette of them. I yep. don't want the mats. I don't want boo-boo mats. I want full-blown yep. glam shadows. Even the other light work palettes were good, mm-hmm. but this one in particular oh my God. takes the cake. Talk and- about trichromes. My God. I mean, and the I would say the Danessa Myricks are more of your just wet foil duochrome trichromes and then the adept cosmetics the minka palette never in my life have i used an eyeshadow palette you are literally getting what you get with a liquid eyeshadow like this one is glitter like chunk city glitter in a beautiful way that doesn't make a mess in the pan that it's not coming out somehow you can put it on with a brush and you're getting almost that duochrome where there's bases of things and it'll catch the it, it is like you used a liquid eyeshadow. The Adept Cosmetics eyeshadow formula is absolutely breathtaking. Uh, honestly, it's such great brands and such amazing for I can't innovative. Um, yeah. Yeah. Truly, especially with Danessa. Because mm-hmm. this year's palette too, I like it so much better than last year's because there's no water activated shadows. It yes. is something you could go brush or finger and yep. it's all user-friendly and same thing with Adept. Yep. So that leads us right into the best neutral eyeshadow palettes of the year. Drum roll. Natasha Denona, my dream palette. Mm. Yes, girl, get up here. Mm. And next was, I mean, shocking. Patrick Ta, Major Dimensions 3. We were skeptical. I really was with that one. And last but not least, the ColourPop Bare Necessities Eyeshadow Palette. The My Dream Palette, as a one-and-done palette, you're getting cool tone neutrals, warm tone neutrals, black. You're getting a light cream. And then you're getting it, if it's going to lean on a color story for me for an everyday, I want it to lean into the pink-purple neighborhood because I feel like that's not green, not blue, because that's not everyone's tea. Exactly. And then Patrick Todd Major Dimensions 3. Talk about something we were skeptical about. All mattes, Mm -hmm. two creams. And I remember when we went into store and we swatched this and then it was in a no. I bought it. Yeah. A no brainer. I had to have this palette and I just recently got it. And I was like, this is so good. Every single matte, buttery, smooth, perfection, the black cream and the brown cream in there. Talk about smoky eye base. Use it as a liner. Set it. That's so exactly what I many did. Yep. possibilities with this palette. Yes. If you're going to get an all matte palette, this is the one to get. Yes, yes. the price point is up there, but it is so worth it blends it. itself. It's you're not so if you're afraid stunning. of eyeshadow, you don't have to worry about it looking patchy or oh my god, this is so annoying. Yeah. It's, it's literally like be- blending out a fucking bronze or blush in your crease. Like yeah, you did this in done. the tutorial that you posted for yes. one size. Yes, the one size tutorial. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You How did. to make your makeup last all day. Video. Yes, yes, you did that and it all looks matte look. Stunning. I did that Kevin Aquan cut crease. Like it was just stunning. <sighs> like, oh my God, it was really beautiful. And then not to say that the ColourPop Bare Necessities yeah. is and, not and that just to me as is good. the drugstore. It's the affordable. Yeah. You're getting what, 30? That's a, the 35 I think so. shade palette. I think 35. I ColourPop eyeshadow formula to die for and you're getting your foils you're getting mattes you're getting high shine glitter shimmer press shimmer shadows like it's just if you're more on a budget the bare necessities is to die for yeah it's just be absolutely beautiful yeah. nobody does drugstore eyeshadow to me like color pop and we're back we hope you enjoyed that geico commercial <laughs> yeah what is up next it is the liquid eyeshadows of the year goes to Moira super hyped liquid eyeshadows. So I almost split it up into matte liquid and shimmer and the Moira super hyped liquid eyeshadows. That specific collection, it has everything. There's like about 10 shimmer and 10 matte. The red I'm wearing in my crease right now on the outer corners and into the transition shade on the outside here is the red red. And honestly, that's probably why I didn't include colorful matte powder eyeshadows in that category this year because I was kind of even thinking back like what did I use this year what did I gravitate towards and it was these yeah because I I mean if you you are never gonna get a red matte red eyeshadow like you will with this opposed to powders because it's always gonna be half the exactly it's gonna give you half the pigmentation in a powder where these liquids they and they blend like powder 
It's unbelievable. And there's all the shade, the rainbow shades. You have every color. Those were amazing. Need. They yeah. were incredible. And then I have to say, I actually really enjoy the uh, shimmer formula in that line a little bit more than the standalone Moira's because the standalone Moira's can get a little crazy when you start. They're a little difficult to work with when you start to layer them and where the other ones are a little smoother. They're not quite as chunky. Agreed. So the super hyped liquid eyeshadows, that whole launch was just exquisite. And they sell the whole PR box too yes. of like everything. So you might as well just get the whole box. If you love to play with color and you want all the options, say no more. Absolutely. So next up, we have our brow products of the year this should be no shock to anybody <laughs> nobody we have rare beauty the brow harmony precision eyebrow pencil and also the brow harmony laminating gel girl <laughs> i'm assuming you have both on yeah of course so do i and i am still not sure why we don't have the laminating gel in store i know i don't know either uh, what is going on? It's not on? limited edition, though. It's not. I asked Selena herself. Yeah. <laughs> at the event. I oh, my God. God. Did you really? I did. I went up to her. I was like, we were talking about, I was like telling her how, like, only murders in the building. I was like, that's my husband and I Super Bowl. We're yelling at the screen. She was laughing. We're talking about her working with Meryl Streep in season three, like acting with her. Uh, and then I said, I was like, whatever you fucking did with these brow products, I said, have worked me out. And I said, I was like, look at me in the eyes. I was like, is that laminating gel limited edition? And she was like, no. And I said, I was like, oh, thank God. And initially it was because I think it was like an online only thing or they didn't it know if it was going to be. It, it did. Said it limited. said limited edition, but it is going to be permanent. And I said, thank God, because I will buy seven right now if it was ever going to go away. The it's most the incredible best brow, brow gel in the world. Yeah. The most incredible brow products on the market. Yes. Anastasia who? Benefit, Benefit who? who? Yes. Tired, corny, and, and played, played out. out. Yeah. All of you sit down because she shut it down with a brow pencil. And you remember the first rendition of Rare Beauty Brows? No, I don't. Oh. I didn't even know they did it. Oh, girl. Girl, they were dark-sided. Wow. Well, like, good for her to, like, come out with it and not land well and then just, like, take it away quietly. Because <laughs> I didn't even know she du came out it with It was dual-ended mm. brow pencil and brow gel. And the brow gels were tinted and they were... Yeah. Spooky. Spooky. Ooky. And then they yeah. had brow powder duos. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I love brow powder, but girl, it was not it. Yeah. The pencil formula was not it. The shape, the precision, the colors, I the know. texture. <laughs> oh. Stunning. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, this brow gel. Not As crunchy. though you got your brows laminated immediately. Not even just where you put it. It is fucking But not spare. sticky. Not no. hard. No crunch. No bunch. No bunch. No yeah. crunch. No bunch. <laughs> yes. No crust. No. I like it. The cr Sugared crust. I need to talk. We need to pause <laughs> the yeah, awards, pause. please. I was in an Ulta. And I walked by a tower and there was three lonely philosophy body washes. And I was looking at the flavors. There was snow angel, cinnamon, yeah. something, whatever. And then I pick up sugared crust. You sent me a snap. And, it and was I like, said, yeah. you also can smell crusty. Crusty. Who the fuck this winter? named that? I want to know because not... Not like warm apple pie. What even is that? Sugared crust? crust? Is this the sugared crust that I buy before I make the pie? Like Do a they mean that? Like a sugared crust of a pie? Sugared crust. <laughs> That's not, not the even, way to word it. Not even the pie? No. To smell like a warm apple pie. Pie crust. I want to smell like a sugared crust. Not even pie crust. No. Sugared crust. Crust. Crusty creme brulee. <laughs> yeah, you scratch that crust off. Yeah. That's what it's like. Girl. girl. Get that crust, girl. Get it, girl. You want to smell like crust, girl? Disgusting. That's like a stink for you. Oh. Crust stinks <laughs> in my head. <laughs> a stinky crust. Yeah. Like you scratch someone's skin that hasn't showered in days and they have a crust. You scratch that crust off and it fucking stinks. Stinks like Parmesan. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> equate it to cheese or I will kick you out of this house. Like, that is so skeevy to me. Ugh. You smell like parmesan. Ew. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Selena. Yeah, girl. Congrats. Oh, these are Brow the, products the, of the year. best. I mean, I've ever and honestly, too, they're always sold out. Absolutely. Rightfully so. Yep. Yep, Order yep, them yep. online if they're not in store. They are the best brow products yes. ever. Next up, we have best Cream bronzer of the year goes to Trixie Cosmetics, Trixie Sticks, 
cream bronzer. I'm sorry, it's still sold out. <laughs> the lightest shades and I think the four lightest shades now are still sold out. She's going to come back with them because they're doing uh, so they well. They posted the, if you go on the website, it says the estimated restock date. Oh, good. They hear you. They, they know you. you want them. Yeah. Uh, they are very transparent that it's a estimated restock yes. date, but it's not till like early next year. I know. Like That's March it's maybe. It's such an indie company. And it's hard. Like, listen, makeup takes a long time to get I developed know. and get made and it takes a long time, but they are so well worth it. Yes. But if they are back in stock, just order them. Girl, don't even hesitate and put your email in on the website to get a notification when they're back in yeah. stock. So they're unreal. It's what I'm wearing. It could work on any skin type, any age, mm -hmm. just gives that skin like finish. It is not goopy, slippy, slidey. It dries down almost to a cream to powder where it is on there. I contour my nose with the second with Sunny Bunny, the second lightest mm -hmm. shade, the best thing I've ever contoured and used to contour my nose on the most oily area. So you would think like, oh my God, how am I using a cream on the most oily part of my face? And also let it also speak volumes that um, the shades are neutral enough that it can contour my nose and not look like a warm brown contour. Stripe. I exactly. Mean, yeah. It's wow. just, it's the best cream bronzer. And I would almost put this in like the brontour category where you can get away with it as a one and done. Because they're more neutral. They're yeah. more neutral. Yeah. So just absolutely stunning. All right. And then that leads us right into our best powder bronzers of the year. And the first one is the Sigma Matte Bronzers. The next one, my favorite. I wear it all the time. We have the Trixie Cosmetics, the Flower Power Powder Bronzers. <laughs> yes. My God, these are insane. Beautiful. And most of these are in stock. I think if not all of them. Yep. The Sigma, how many shades do you know? Quite a few. Four, I okay. want to say. Not patchy. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. The pigmentation is that perfect balance where you're not, you don't have to pile it on, but it's not too powdery where you're like, oh my God, I need to like now soften this and blend this out. And again, I, I gravitate towards bronzers bronzers that have that neutralness to it because mm -hmm. if I'm not in the mood to do both, I want to be able to put on one bronzer and be done with it. And that is this for me, but it is just the most silky standalone bronzers I've ever used. And that's how we feel about the Trixie too, because you get the two shades of bronzer in there. Let's say the one shade is to really sculpt you and yes. the other one is to really deepen that bronze Carve. and really get into that pocket of the cheek and really deepen. Yep. So you get a gradient fade of bronzer plus a highlighter. I know. And then you could get the bundle on the website with the full bronzer, a highlighter brush, and a bronzer yes, brush. which those brushes are amazing. Love them. And also uh, with the Trixie, which honestly my number one recommendation would just be to get the Trixie because talk about all year bronzer. In the winter yeah. when I'm more fair, I use the lighter. And then as the summer comes around or I self tan, whatever the case is, I have another bronzer right in the thing. So I don't need to go find another one. It's like, And if you need to mix, if you're in between, let's say the fall and spring, exactly. you start to like be more of that in between shade. If you're self tanning or you're like your tan is fading, yep. you can mix the shades. Absolutely. So stunning. So brilliant. I know. And it's a big pan, but it Very. puts, you know, I like put it in my makeup bag and it fits everywhere. So I know. it's not ridiculous. It is literally Genius. Yes. Love it. All right. Next up, we have Cream Blush of the Year goes to Moira Love Steady Liquid Blushes. Oh. oh, my God. Now tell the people. Oh, my God. They blend themselves. Yeah. Um, again, Moira. Yeah. So you're talking shade range is to die for. And formula range that you get radiant and matte. Preach which I really only used the matte and I gave you all the radiance because I, I knew it was going to work for me. Wet dream blushes. I mean, dewy, glistening cheeks. And even if I set them, it doesn't like lift. It doesn't get chunky. It makes it yes. matte. And it doesn't take away the healthy look to it. It just no. takes away the wetness, if yeah. you will. And so yeah. I still look kind of radiant, but it's not radiant in the sense of it has shimmer to it, mm -hmm. which I like that they're solid color blushes yes and you can i've mixed two before i've yes. mixed them right on my hand and gone in moira was out here with the launches this year girl really just what the girl one can't. after another i know i was really blown away by them this year especially with the eyeshadows and the blushes this year uh -huh. those were incredible launches shade range really great and the matte formula i have never used a liquid or cream blush that i then do not need to reinforce with powder where this, it's the only blush 
I have to use because it is so beautifully pigmented, but blends like a dream. It is mm -hmm. so easy to use. And whether I put it on first before powder or with the matte formula, I can attest to because it really is a liquid to powder formula. I can use it like a powder. I can yeah. put it over a full chicken powdered face and it still looks and blends out like butter. That is something that I just recently... I would say this year that I really got into liquids and creams and I was very nervous my whole yeah. makeup career of taking a liquid yeah. and putting it over powder. I was like, that's not going to happen because the formulas prior to yeah. all of these amazing formulas, it would lift your makeup clean off your skin, <gasps> snatch you Absolutely. and your pink skin would be under there and you would just see a full face of foundation and just snatched like yeah. circles. House Labs eye paints. <gasps> makeup remover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally yeah pure nightmare <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah oh my god but so true so true but putting out fires yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they are really just phenomenal liquid blushes. So, yes. I mean, Rare Beauty was a top contender as well. Yes. But these really, especially price point wise and that's and shade range off the bat. Yes. Came out with 12 shades. Yep. Killing it. And I almost find that for the regular consumer, the Moira is easier to work with because those Rare Beauties are like, girl, Pigmented. You need to put the idea of it on your cheek and you have too much color. Yeah. Like they're too, the, some of them are too pigmented. I don't understand when I see the videos of the girls and I know that they're panicking in between and they're, they're yeah. editing those videos because yeah. they put four dots. And I was like, ha! Yeah. I put a pin drop of the bright pink and yeah. I had a full blown yeah. stripe. Yeah. And I was like, I'm in trouble. I know. All right. And then we're going to move right along to the best powder blush of the year going to none other than Miss House. Laboratories. The laboratory. So the House Labs Color Fuse Blushes. Now, I will say these are dwindling. Mm -hmm. The colors. There is normally, there would have been six shades. Mm -hmm. These are stunning. They are fully matte with fermented Arnica. Girl. Her and that Arnica. on her Arnica farm. Yeah. Just hoeing the Arnica. It's like RuPaul in the oil. Totally. Yeah. 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 He's <laughs> fracking for oil. She's fracking for Arnica. Yeah. Yeah. They are so beautiful. Talk about full pigment can work on. They showed every single one of these blushes on every single skin tone in every yeah. category across from fair to deep. Every single color works on every tone. It was so beautiful. I hope these make a comeback. They were limited edition. They have to. It's too much of a staple product for it not to come back. There is a couple shades still on House Labs and a couple shades still on Sephora.com. Mm -hmm. Get them while you can. Yes. The Dragon Fruit Days, that pink, that yeah. bright pink girl and Pomelo Peach. Do not sleep on them. Watermelon Bliss is the red. Lavender Blonde is that like Ugh. beautiful lilac -y. It was so beautiful. And the other two colors too, the Hibiscus mm -hmm. and the Acai Berry were so beautiful yeah. so definitely if you get your hands on these they are so stunning you get so much product for 38 dollars or 40 bucks yeah so much pro it is the full pan of like bronzer basically but blush yes so you will have these for a lifetime her powder formulas are just to die for unreal and amazing and like we said in the beginning too these work on every skin type and tone and yeah everything so you don't have to worry about if you're afraid of powder this is not the powder to be afraid of yes this is Incredible. Next up, we have Liquid Contours of the Year. Go to Moira Liquid Contours and the KVD ModCon Long Wearing Liquid Gel Contour. So well deserving of both of them, too. Yes. Again, Moira. I know. Out here, killing it. Amazing, amazing contour. Same kind of consistency as the blushes. Yes. But they dry down a little bit more. Yes. Which I liked. Yep. But those KVDs. I know. No one is talking about it. And Charlotte Tilbury is over here with two shades getting her flowers. I know. KVD has eight shades. I know. And the colors are so much better. So, so blendable cool tone. and beautiful and sculpt. What girl. are we doing? I know. I know. Miss KVD is out here giving... Yeah. Giving the girls the run for her money and nobody is talking about these contours. I and know. They are incredible. And your Moira's, I would say that's your like that. I mean, dry to combo, whatever. But the KVD for oily skin, it because it's that gel. Would you talk about like innovative of not even like understanding what that formula is? Because it feels like wet when you're putting it on, but it just then turns into a beautiful powder contour. Yeah, and it looks like your skin. Yes. And like it's, it's not a layer cool of tone. contour. And I like that they're, the KVD ones are a little bit more sheer too, so you can yes. really build them up. Mm -hmm. I've used multiple shades too where I've done the light warm and the fair cool contour and like even put the fair cool more in the depth and yeah. then warmed it up towards like the top of the cheek where, like where I wanted it to blend up. Yeah. 
stunning. And we're back. Wow, welcome back to the beautiful and bothered Mary, Mary Dugan, Dugan Awards. Awards. Wow. Next category is Highlighter of the Year. Drum roll. No surprise. The Rare Beauty Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighters. Listen, Mama, when no one else enters the game, it's like the Issa Rae uh, Zendaya video. She's like, do you wake up every morning and just look in the mirror and do you think to yourself, wow, these other bitches don't have a chance. Like, that's literally these nothing has come out better than these. Rare beauty is over here. Girl, it's what stomping we're wearing. people. I mean, shade mesmerized. You I know. know, I. Uh, Everyone that ever compliments Kevin's highlight, it is this. It's or this. it is the highlighter in the Trixie Cosmetics. Yeah. Bronzer one, the flower yeah. power that we I'm just very about. particular. And like once in a blue moon, I'll swing out of house labs, but like yeah. it's nine times out of 10, it's always this. I know. When people stop me mm-hmm. and say, what is that? It's always this. It's this. Four shades, every skin Powder, type. Powder, but they're like almost baked. Baked. Oh. It's what uh, the white is my inner corner highlight on my oh, eyeshadow. Enlighten. Enlighten is that girl. Oh, honey. I know. And mesmerize. And, and then I, mean, I have the pinky highlight on. Mesmerize. mesmerize. Yeah, so then I love good. the lighter champagne. Exhilarate. And then the deeper, deeper for deeper skin tone. Yeah, flaunt. flaunt. I mean, she really, and she has the liquid highlighters in other shades. Yes. I would love to see those colors translate Girl, to these. I need an expansion of this. I know. I know. Immediately. Immediately. Because there's no better highlighter on the market. There is not. It, this is the one. Yes. This is that girl. I'm so excited for this category. Setting sprays of the year. You know, we just love setting sprays. We just love setting sprays. So our top winners this year, of course, the number one goes to One Size Beauty Until Dawn. <gasps> Where is she? She sold out again. She sold out again. <laughs> no, one size until Dawn setting spray couldn't be with us, so I'll be accepting the water on her behalf. <laughs> and next is, you know, this is one of my faves: the Half Magic Dew Lock Hydrating Set and Refresh Mist from One Stunning from Half Magic. Beauty. It's so beautiful, girl. And last but not least, we had it. Honestly, last minute, I included the Elf because it is the drugstore version of all kind of setting bold, sprays. Honestly, I, I don't think anything can do what One Size does, but. The matte setting spray, the green is incredible. Yeah. And then the white coconut, the coconut is one. exactly the And the, the blue dude. one is matte as well, but it's blue light protection. Okay. So I'm like, honestly, the green yeah. is amazing just to have like your one size or your Charlotte Tilbury exactly. dupe. Exactly. And then the white is great for anything your, dewy. Your half magic dupe. And it's so beautiful. But Both I have to, I mean, one great. size and uh, half magic, one size. Yeah waterproof like completely waterproof you could swim in a pool and your makeup's yeah. fine unreal and then the half magic i have to say uh, even yes the coconut uh elf does what it does but to me the half magic i mean you saw it looks it makes your makeup look like you're wearing nothing and you just put skincare on yeah that's how stunning it and is I, to die for. You know I was sweating that primer over the summer. I was putting that all over my skin. Girl, soaking yourself. I was, yeah, soaking. quite literally just. Yeah, four yeah. layers of it. Like you would literally do four a different bucket. rounds of it. I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'm like, I need to chill. But that is one. And amazing that no matter how much I put on, it didn't separate my makeup. No. Being dewy. You would no. think that anything dewy is going to separate all the powder. But it is really. Stunning. Good job. Stunning. The award for mascara of the year goes to KVD <gasps> Full Sleeve Tubing Mascara <sighs> and the oh. Give Beauty Can't Stop Staring Mascara. That KVD really came in hot. That's what I got on, girl. Me too. Yeah. Love a tubing mascara. Love it. But this one shut it down. Curl. Shut it down. Doesn't get all over my lid. The brush separates, lengthens, curls. It is an easy brush to use. It has a little of that uh, just like silicone brush. Not as much as the Give, which is why she's on here. But let alone the formula. I mean, girl, comes off, washes away, is cry resistant, I tear know. resistant. But warm water, washing your face. You will never have to go blind trying to rub your Oh, mascara yeah. I was washing again. my face. Well, no, I'm, yeah. I was going to say I was rinsing my hair. You were rinsing your hair. And this was all over my face. Came out looking wrecked. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I mean, yes. So so she ain't waterproof, but she's cry proof. Yes. yes. And Amazing. Then the Give Beauty Can't Stop Staring. I mean, for me, this does everything. It is your uh, very similar brush to Give. It is separating, lengthening, curling. And the formula in the brush is the most 
gripping brush I have ever used where when I put this on that silicone brush, you can literally see my eyelid pull away because it is getting in those roots and getting coating and raking through mm. such a beautiful mascara formula. It's to die for. Wow. It's so stunning. I love it. And I will say like these two, I think we did pick new ones where I will say the give or the KBD is not going to be as like maybe volumizing or thickening, mm-hmm. if you will, as which for me, my other my pick would be the Rare Beauty mm-hmm. mascara. But that came out last year. We really want we just picked new ones for this. That's an honorable mention. But uh, these two are to die for. Yeah, honestly, you will always see that KBD in my bag. Oh, without on. a doubt. Yes. The best. All right, moving right along to eyeliners. First off, our beautiful and bothered Mary Dugan Award winners go to Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. Such a good one. And we have the Urban Decay 24 7 Ink Ergonomic Liquid Eyeliner Pens. Oh, God, what a mouthful. Easy to use, hard to say. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. These are honestly two Girl. brush tip liquid liners. I am so picky that went wild break proof girl i put it on my hand it took me three days to get it off i use that in my again bridal kit yes that that was something where people are like is this gonna stay on i'm like you're gonna have trouble <laughs> yeah you're gonna have trouble taking this off don't you worry you're yeah. gonna need a makeup remover to break it up at the end of the absolutely. day absolutely these two were honestly so amazing and for the urban decay to just come out somewhat recently yes this blew me away and girl we both used it today because yep. i'm sorry compared to other liners when I have trouble with it, like, just like maybe like, God, I'm like, come on, like shaking it, trying to get it out, trying to whatever the case is. I have really been gravitating. A, how pleasant this one is to hold. The ergonomic, that, yeah. that, uh, the grip, grip. It's one of the only ones, man. I never have to worry about it drying up on me midway, no matter how long my eyeliner takes mm-hmm. me. It's just breathtaking. And I got a bunch of the other colors recently. And I love that it comes in the colors because then you have your other ones that are good, like your honorable mentions of your rare beauty and your one size point made liners, but you're not getting it in colors. Yeah. You're not getting it in blues and shimmer formula and the one size did a blue and a brown Mm -hmm. but i don't the blue was not it yeah i use it and i was like "Mm -mm, there's it is not right but urban decay there's blue and then there's like blue shimmer yes there's a gray shimmer so they which i hope they expand the ranges and that like their and i want brush tips because half of them are brush half of them are felt for urban give me all of them in a brush tip and i would love that i agree we could switch all them do it up. I but I love that you do get like a yellow, a green, a white, everything Apparently like Urban that. Decay listens to this, so maybe they'll take our advice. <laughs> yes, mm-hmm. girl. Well, shall we move on to the next award? Yes, we shall. Get her off the stage. <laughs> <gasps> Moving right along, <laughs> we have the Lashes of the Year. Go to Kiss Impress Lashes. They're on both of us right now. Girl, need we say more? Oh, wait. No, they're not. No, I have the Trixie Cosmetics. We have a liar on stage, everybody. <laughs> it was Sorry. me. You know what it was? I wanted to end. I'm going to throw on last minute decision. Groundbreaking. <gasps> Is this a Steve Harvey moment? We've yeah, made yeah, a mistake. Rogue. Cut yeah. the mic. We've made a mistake. <laughs> the Kiss Muses collection. The whole collection. The Muses, the Noblest, oh, the Legacy. Wait. This is, these are the Impress press-on lashes. I'm sorry. I read that that said Kiss Impress yeah. lashes, and I just thought it was the Muses. Girl, sober up. Get your shit together. Do you know what's crazy? I am sober and I'm just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, come on. Mm. We got the Kiss Impress Lashes and the Kiss Muses Collection. So yes. your Muse Collection is your band, which mama you are wearing, the Legacy Cut. I love the Legacy Noblest. and Noblest. And Noblest is always my go-to. I could not find them getting ready. So I popped on the Trixie, uh, a new cut from Trixie Cosmetics. They're beautiful. Uh, and then the Kiss and Press at this point, if you are a fan of this podcast, you've heard us talk about 50,000 times, so we'll spare you. Yes. Press on lashes, easiest things we've ever used, absolutely to die for. They are incredible. So amazing. All right, now to the lip liner category. Mm. We have our first winner is the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil. Woo! Yes, Haley Bieber, thank you so much for making them go viral, <laughs> yeah. you little brat. Now they're sold out. The second is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencils. And last but not least, the NYX Slim Pencil Creamy Long Lasting Lip Liners, the OG. These are, I mean, let's start with the Makeup Forever. Amazing. They used to have a bigger shade range and they condensed. I mm-hmm. hope they expand again and yep. learn that these need to come back in every single shade that they discontinued. Yes. 
some of my favorites got discontinued and yeah. I'm not I'm not salty. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not bitter. Uh, I'm not yeah. bitter, are you? Makeup by Mario, I have it on now and they are amazing. They have a little brush on the end. Which the I colors love. colors are Which I so love. beautiful. The nudes, so beautiful. Hue. Yes. Hue is one of my favorite nudes from yep. them. Stunning. And I mean, NYX is where I started. Four dollars. Girl. That's your drugstore, man. They And specifically, the uh, slim lip pencil. Not the twist up. They are the sharpened ones. The original. The OGs. Yeah. They are to die for. And I would say the benefits of your the higher end ones, the Makeup Forever and the Makeup by Mario, with the Makeup Forever, I love to use them also. They are eye safe. So I love eye and lip, like the browns that I have that if I'm looking like to tight line a nice brown eyeliner, they last just as well as the lips. But then the nude shade range of the Mario and the brush on the end to feather, if you're going to ombre or whatever you want to mm-hmm. do, blend it out, that's the benefit of the Mario. They're just all three of these. Are, you can't go wrong. No, you yeah. really cannot. All right. Now, the beautiful and bothered Mary Dugan Award for Lipstick of the Year goes to the Hourglass Unlock Satin Cream Lipstick and the Lawless Forget the Filler Lipsticks. Girl, you hour- already know. Girl, you already know. The hourglass. Hourglass. I mean, we're talking luxury. We're talking mu- we're talking old money. We're talking old money. <laughs> Just gorge. Oh Especially Tide and uh Oasis. Oasis, yes. The, the formulas in general, the most yeah. comfortable, beautiful co- uh formula I've ever worn. And they are worth the price, even with the packaging and the component. And oh my gosh, yes. it it feels luxurious yeah and then the shade range alone of the lawless forget the filler you're talking every nude cool tone platinum. platinum you're talking cool tone nudes bridal literally one is called wedding day the pinks and then down into the deeper uh nudes for different skin tones a warm tone red a cool tone red just stunning just stunning let alone the uh skincare ingredients in the forget the filler for the plumping aspect the line smoothing it is just there are lipsticks couldn't have asked Crazy. for any better formula this year the hourglass really blew me. and the lawless though yes that was unexpected that was unexpected i, I was like okay they really came in i mean they had lip liners too but the lipsticks really took it yeah all right lip gloss winner best lip gloss of the year goes to cover girl yummy glosses all right girl Ugh. get up here we just love you so good I mean, talk about something that feels good on the lips, isn't sticky, feels like a lip balm as you're wearing it, actually hydrates your lips as a gloss is unheard of. This is one of my favorite glosses. I put this on if I have no makeup on, full makeup on. They are incredible. This was a hard one to do because I love gloss. Yes. But these really like are, I would buy every shade. Yep. I do want to see expansions. I want nudes. I want want more pigment in them. Totally. Do other collections. Yep. These are incredible. I put so. these on when I can't find my like lip mask. Oh, same. Because it's literally like putting on a, a lip conditioner, like a yeah. lip treatment. That's how hydrating they are. They are so good. And they so don't break good. up anything underneath too, which is really nice. It creates like a, a barrier too. That's the It's test. not greasy. It's it's true. It's almost like a layer of hydration. Yes. Without being greasy where it's going to separate lipstick and liner. Yep. These are Excellent. Stunning. Alrighty, next up, the beautiful and bothered Mary Dugan Award for Brush Sets of the Year goes to the 14-piece Elegant Black Versatile Collection from Jessup Beauty. You won't need another brush, literally. And the quality of Jessup brushes, affordability, and the customization. It's not your basic brush set. I mean, you talk about that powder under eye brush it's just Jessup brushes are the brushes. They're stunning. Wherever they're getting manufactured too, they oh. know what they're doing. Yep. They are taking the most elite brushes mm-hmm. and duping them. Cruelty free. At a fraction of the price. Absolutely. And giving you a whole set for 35, 40 I bucks. I know. It's unreal. 14 pieces. I know. It is absolutely unreal. And don't half of them too. Some of them, depending on what brush shape you go on their website, if you look through, they're the ones who have the amazing uh, Ariel X Morphe yes. brush set mm-hmm. dupe. So many of them even come with like brush cases, like right in it and holders and yeah. this. It's just, if you're looking for new tools, new brushes, if you need a good eye, like eyeshadow brushes, et cetera, Jessup Beauty. Yeah. And you can get them right on Amazon. Yep. Yep, totally, so right totally. on Amazon. Insanely amazing. I used them all today and I love them. They yeah. are the best brushes. Yeah. Oh Girl, my. we reached the oh. two biggest awards of oh. the night. Oh. The most innovative brand of the year 
and the biggest award, Beauty Brand of the Year. Wow. Which wow, we will Diane. be announcing after the break. No, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> so You're such what? a trickster, Diane. I know. <laughs> uh, we did a whole episode like uh, newscasters. <gasps> <laughs> and did you see recently the ones that were shading each other? No. They were the, I gotta show you Ooh, later. Owie, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the great lady. Oh. You know, <laughs> when you get hurt like that, oh. and you were like, you were gas <laughs> Oh, You are <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh, owie, 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 oh. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, owie, owie, owie. You are struggling for survival. Yeah. Oh, no. My yeah. God. That feeling of like, I cannot get air in my lungs. No, yeah. and you are trying so hard to stay calm. <laughs> stay but alive. Your back is tensing <laughs> up and, it, and you're like, oh, owie, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. That, it did you do it too well. Yeah. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, owie, owie, owie. Yeah, I know it too well. You've got it. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, God. Oh, it's getting hot in this coat, girl. I am so hungry. I'm getting, like, weak. Yeah. I I forgot where I was for a moment. I know. Because of hunger weakness? Yeah. I know. I'm you got it like, I mean, in between not, the not, episodes. I'm not doing well. <sighs> All right. Girl. 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 The most innovative beauty brand of the year goes to... Flipping. Moira Cosmetics. Moira Cosmetics. I mean... We have said it. We already teased it before, but they really girl look at the launches, the Scout. new highlighters, highlighters, the blushes, the eyeshadows, the liners. I feel like Whitney, Jamal, Sharon, yeah, Catherine. I you know better lay low. You better lay low. What do you mean? <laughs> it's with the Z, you it's know. Z. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, the duochrome <laughs> eyeliners. Oh my the God. uh liquid contours, the liquid blushes, the color correctors, the color, the correctors. liquid color correctors. I am obsessed. And there was another, there was another oh Moira, God. the liquid eyeshadows that we won. Oh, word. and the pot shadows, the pot shadows. Oh my God! But it's just and at the price point, it is insane. Criminal people out here giving Elf credit. They're blowing elf out of the water to me. Because they're, and you know what? I love that they do, especially for the makeup lovers. They are giving you something that, to me, the whole box is the value. The packaging. And it, it is, everything is so well thought out, too, that it doesn't look like it's in cheap packaging. Nope. The eyeshadow palettes that look like they're in books. Expensive. Like, girl, and quality. It is, the most amazing quality. The stamping in the eyeshadows to the oh. collections. The, there was and like the a circus collection. the formula of the eyeshadows, the powder eyeshadows, Elf wishes. Oh, God. I oh, know. They can never. So no. that's where, where Elf lacks, Moira picks up. Yes, and, and does really, what they do better than them. I would love to see Moira in an Ulta Beauty. Like, Girl. Get them in there. I Moira know. needs to be in there. They I deserve know. to have all the praise. So Absolutely. congratulations, Moira. All right, so this brings us to the final award of the night. The biggest award of the night. The Beautiful and Bothered Mary Dugan Award for Beauty Brand of the Year goes to Rare Beauty. Oh, oh, God. Home for applause, home for applause. Peas and carrots, peas and carrots. Fenty was standing up. Oh, she was standing up. No, House Labs was standing up. Eager. Oh, girl, yeah, Miss House Labs. She said... Uh, uh, I know she would get most improved. <laughs> yeah, most. <laughs> oh, yeah. anyway, anyway, beauty brand of the year, rare beauty, and yeah. my God, you and I picked this together at that we literally said one, two, three. We both said it at yeah. the same time. This brand, which if I mean, we kind of like gave you a live example at the beginning of this talking about the body care but i thought about this yeah. on on the way home from the trip because i was thinking obviously we had to pick our awards this body care line to me was sealed the deal and it would have been right there before this body care line but like we've talked about it so much and what it is for me is being ex sephora employees we know what it's like to be in the trenches and sell this these products to everybody from someone that is 13 all the way up to 70 years old. And at the end of the day, you and I always are thinking about the consumers that do not give a shit about trends. They don't give a shit about TikTok bullshit. Who's buying it because some celebrity used it or what the case is. It is about accessibility, inclusivity, quality, and ease of use. And to me, not only is that rare beauty, 
but the accessibility, if we were going to bring a 70 year old woman needing a new eyeliner and we were going to, or, or, or whatever, we were going to walk her up to a gondola. If we were going to walk her up to house labs, there's an intimidation factor. There's it's the artistry, the colors, the craziness, the, this, I could walk anyone up to the rare beauty gondola and not if they've never heard of rare beauty if they never heard of selena gomez the aesthetic the look the quality they wouldn't bat an eyelash no and it performs so well too so yes. and yeah like anybody getting into makeup or maybe even someone like us who yes. we've been doing makeup for years yes and we've been in this game so long for us to be impressed floored again and again and again and again there's something to be said. She I know. is doing, and I will say, and like I've said before, I was very turned off by the thought of her coming out with Me the too. brand. I saw it and I said, no way. Me no too. No chance. Good luck because it won't be long. Yeah. And Look she at her. is really, she is turning my, like, my whole opinion around in this past couple of years, the launches, even yeah. taking products maybe that weren't perfect and perfecting that. Absolutely. And admitting that wasn't great. Yeah. And it's... Bye. Yes. And a slow, just a quick turnaround. Even yeah. back in the day, that press setting powder. Yes. The touch up powder. Yep. Because it just wasn't living to the standard and the quality. And that's what I love. We're not keeping product around if it doesn't meet that standard and that high standard at yes. that. This is, I mean, really, she is killing it and she is involved. I'm like, she to me is the most involved creator of a brand out of any celebrity line. Because I bet you Adele's not going to be involved. No. And I don't even think of Rare Beauty as a celebrity makeup brand. It, you said that to me and I couldn't believe it because I, most of the time, don't think of Rare Beauty. I don't think of Selena no. as like, oh, she's the face of, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. When you say, oh, do you see what House Labs came out with? I Gaga. picture Lady Gaga in my head. I or go, Fenty. what? What is I'm she like, up oh, to? I'm like, oh, Rihanna. What yeah. did she do? When you say Rare yeah. Beauty came out, did you see the new thing Rare Beauty came out with? She doesn't. Selena's face does not pop in my head. The Which brand is, and the aesthetic yeah. and the feel of the brand is what pops in my head. Yeah, yeah. And I love that. It's more of a, Rare Beauty is like an emotion and a feeling and a, a place, a, a destination for makeup. Yes. It is not a person that totally. I tie to it. Yep. It is really true. She really, the branding of it, especially with this body care line. And that's what, would just to have this body care line now where it is supporting the idea that she has said about the makeup since day one, which is that inclusivity, that comfort, that mindfulness. I was just like, of course this is the next well, step for you. Of and I course. will say, because I even thought at first that whole, the the lip color names being trustworthy and I desire. Honesty. I was like, oh God. I know. But then I was really like, no, I think she really does mean that. And I think it was the body care collection that really pivoted my opinion because I was like, she really is this person. Yes. She oh, really is this person about through. inclusivity and even everything she was, you know, she has gone through on social media with yes. people, you know, trying to take I her know. down and trying to knock her off her pedestal but totally. she just doesn't let these people phase her or let it seem like people are phasing her she's just like i'm in my yes. lane and i'm i'm doing the damn thing yes and i'm only gonna you're gonna put hate and i'm just gonna put out kindness i know and i love that about her and her brand just really really invokes that and i love it congratulations rare beauty killing it That is it for part one of the Beautiful and Bothered Awards. We, congratulations to all the winners. Yes. We hope you guys loved this. Let us know your favorites of the year, your favorite makeup of the year. This was ours. Uh, this is stuff that is front and center on our desks, yeah. in our bags. And uh, stay tuned for next week, the final episode of the year. Which we will be doing. That's crazy. I know. We will be doing uh, the best of the best awards for fragrance, skincare, and hair care. I cannot wait. That is a fun one because it was like, it's different stuff. So that I'm super excited to dive into. This was amazing. You guys have asked for this months ago to do our best of the best after our Allure yeah. Awards. So it yeah. only seems fitting. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching a brand new, uh, the penultimate episode of Beautiful and Bothered for the year. <gasps> oh, that's my cue. That's your cue. That's my cue. Is this my camera, John? <laughs> Is that my camera? Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> thank you to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>
No, I get it. Yeah. I get it. I know, girl. I Yeah. Thank you for watching a brand new episode of Beautiful and Bothered. I just ah, blanked. I know. Yep. Thank you for watching a brand new episode of Beautiful and Bothered. If you want your video episodes one day early, make sure you dis- make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel to get your video episodes one day early. I'm panicking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, make sure to just. Su- su- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. Say that outro, girl. <laughs> also, make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and leave us a five star review because that's all Spotify and Apple Podcasts care about. And if you don't have that Apple Podcast app, you better download it because it's free. 99 Do it, girl. girl. Don't play with me. I know. And follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Oh my gosh, where we are posting the all the clippy l- little poos. Clippy poos. And we might be posting exclusive little clippy poos eventually that Absolutely. don't get posted anywhere else. Wherever you are. <laughs> yep. We hope you are happy, safe, and healthy. And remember, you are beautiful. Bye. Wow, good job. Camera zooms out from the awards. And then they just start talking. You're such a bitch, you know that? You're just such a bitch. And then Will Smith goes up to Chris Rock. (laughs) Get my wife's name out your mouth. (laughs) 